Hello there. Welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. I am so glad you're here. My name is Laura and today I am making Lavender Field Soap. This soap is a suggestion from Stacy, who asked me to make a bar with butterflies and purple. I will also be adding some butterflies using soap dough and I have my oils here which are all vegan and organic. The purple I'm using is called Purple Haze. It's a new color that I, to me from Nurture Soap. Um, I will leave a link down below where you can find the color and of course I'll be using lavender to fragrance this bar. So this is the lye water going in. This also has almond milk in it and I'm just going to mix this together. And here's the color going in. I did not want this color to be super dark, but as you can see, this is a very well pigmented mica, so it gave me a very nice, even purple color. I'm just waiting for this to thicken up because I need the batter to be thick enough to support the embeds of the butterflies. And apparently I have edited out accidentally the part where I add the fragrance oil, but I did add it in while I was mixing the batter. And here are the butterflies. And what I've done is made several butterflies in different colors. I've used yellow, orange, and purple, or excuse me, yellow, orange, and pink. And I've stuck them together and the reason I did that was to make it easier to place in the mold instead of doing them individually. I was worried the soap would set up since floral fragrances tend to accelerate the batter. So I'm just carefully placing these in. And now I'm going to use a chopstick to help position them. I didn't want these to be sitting straight up and down because butterflies, when they fly, they tend to go in different directions. And I wanted to represent that by tilting the butterflies so that when the bars are sliced, hopefully the butterflies will be at different angles. I'm just going to add some more of the batter now. I'm using a spatula to help offset where this is being poured so that it doesn't move the embeds around too much. And here's the second set of embeds. The embeds were also dusted with a little bit of gold. I wanted some mica around them to hopefully give them either an outline or something to separate them from the purple, but I'm not sure this will really show up in the end. I know that Shauna from Nizumi Soaps likes to dust her embeds in charcoal, but I felt that the black from the charcoal would be too harsh for the butterflies. But I definitely recommend her channel. She does a lot of work with really cute embeds. And you can see how the charcoal gives her embeds a really nice outline and they really stand out from the soap. And it looks like this stack of embeds I made was it fits the mold, but it's very snug, so I can't reposition it. So I'm just going to remove one of the butterflies and I will put this somewhere else in the soap. So now that that's fixed, I can reposition the butterflies. And now just like before, I'm going to add more of this soap batter using the spatula to help break the fall. You can see the batter is really starting to thicken up. The batter honestly is moving slower than I expected, so that's actually a plus. 
So here is that butterfly that I pulled off earlier. I'm just going to add it in here. And I did have some other extra butterfly embeds, so I'm going to continue adding these in random places, and that will make all the bars a little bit different, because they will all have butterflies in different places. Going to add some more soap batter. Gently tap it to level the soap batter. And then just clean up the sides a little bit. I decided to texture this with a fork. I feel that the lines give some movement to the soap and butterflies definitely move around. And I felt I needed a little bit more height to the soap as well so I'll be adding a little bit more batter to the top. Soap will also have an angled top design. And I have three butterflies which I have reserved for the top so that the top of each bar will have its own butterfly. And these butterflies are nearly an inch wide so these will come very close to being the same width as the bar. So I'm going to place these very carefully and hopefully the slicer will not cut them. So now that I have everything positioned with the chopstick, I think this will be safe for cutting. I'm just going to clean the edges off. And here is a close-up of the soap. I also wanted to mention that I will be sending out emails pretty soon for some Black Friday and November sales. I will leave a link below for you to join my email list if you would like to. Usually my email list is where I send updates about upcoming sales and other things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave the link below. Um, but there's no obligation obviously, it's completely up to you. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on any future videos you'd like to see me make, uh, any designs or colors, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. You guys all have such wonderful ideas and are so creative. I really love making the bars that you suggest. So here's the first bar. 
You can see the marbled pink butterflies and it looks like the orange ones are showing on the spire. And here's both sides of them. And as I mentioned before, as you use the bar, the butterflies will change color because you'll be using up the color that shows and then as you go, the next butterfly underneath will come through. And so the bar will kind of change as you use it. And then here's the last bar. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make these soaps. If you did, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to my channel because it really helps me out. And here are the sample pieces which I cut up and use for samples. And I'll leave you here with some finished pictures of the final bars. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.